Today, I'm a fully fledged senior software engineer, but in 2015, I didn't know anything about code. Let me tell you how I got here. So in the fall of 2015, I had just finished up a year teaching high school Spanish and I had just moved to a new city. I spent a lot of time searching for jobs on Indeed and I noticed that a lot of the job postings that came up in the city I was in happened to be for software related roles. I thought back to a conversation I had had with my aunt who works in the tech industry where she encouraged me to check out coding boot camps. So I start to poke around a little bit online on sites like Codecademy and Free Code Camp. I end up taking a non-technical job in foster care and I really don't like this job. So during that school year, I start to think about what I could do next at the same time as I'm starting to write my first lines of codes in those online resources. I also buy a book during that year called Head First JavaScript and realize that learning to code is like nothing I've learned before. My lesson from 2015 is that learning by doing is best. In 2016, I start coding bootcamp having decided during that previous year that I wanted to become a software engineer. It's a front end oriented bootcamp and we start with the basics like HTML and CSS, but by the fourth week, we've already eclipsed everything I had learned during my year of self-study. In addition to regular technologies like HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript, we learn newer technologies like SaaS and mobile-first styling, in addition to frameworks like Backbone and React. This four month period ends up being the most stressful four months of my life to date and the boot camp ends up being the hardest thing I've ever done. Near the end of the program, I decide to do my final capstone project with a local startup using their API and building a standalone app that they could in theory incorporate into their product. We call it an internship and it ends up being my first real experience. Overall, I have a great experience despite my anxiety, learned a lot and made some pretty good friends. My lesson from this period is to focus on learning learning over results. I was so scared about failing the bootcamp that I didn't really allow myself to explore my own curiosity and ended up learning not as much as I could have as a result. The bootcamp ends in December 2016 and right at the end of the program I start searching for jobs. In 2017, my program director from the bootcamp hooks me up with some contract work with a medical data startup that I thought I really wanted to work at. It turns out that the job is mostly just maintaining monolithic Python scripts that automate screen scraping for the company. And I end up managing a team of three data entry clerks and not doing that much programming. Also during that time, I keep job searching. I end up having to turn down a job I really wanted with IBM because I'm not willing to move to Texas. And I end up taking a job with the city government in Raleigh, North Carolina which is where I live now. I'm grateful that someone gives me the opportunity, but the job doesn't quite live up to my dreams and expectations because it's mostly maintaining legacy technology and I end up not learning as much as I want on the job. The one exception to this is that the team ends up building one-off applications in Angular when they get the chance, and so I learn the newer version of Angular, Angular 2 Plus. I also try and fail to learn Redux on my own through taking Wes Boss's free Redux course. In early 2018, after just 10 months on the job, I decide I'm not learning enough at work and end up using those new Angular skills to get my next job. It was also around this time that I ended up having an offer revoked from IBM, which I made a video about and will link here. But the job I ended up with is with a local agency who had secured a long-term contract with Cisco with a C doing Angular work. And so I was able to use my Angular skills that I acquired on the first job to present myself as a good candidate for the second job. The second job ends up being pretty good for a while. It's a cool company with fun coworkers. They had just moved into a new office, which used to be a mechanics garage and renovated it. And there was beer and snacks on tap. But everybody on my team had been promised that after six months, we would get the opportunity to work on something else. And a year goes by and nothing changes. I kind of get sick of this project. And I learned during that time that big company life doesn't appear to be for me. I also try and fail again to learn Redux during this time and also Ruby on Rails. And I also explore full stack JavaScript development with Vulkan JS. Maybe the most important thing that happens during this particular year is I discover indie hackers, which inspires me to one day go out on my own and become an entrepreneur. My lesson from this particular time is that no one is gonna give you permission to learn what you wanna learn. So you might as well go ahead and do it anyway. After a year at job number two, I get job number three which is remote and in 2019 that is quite the unique thing and I'm really fired up about it. Job number three is also an agency and it's a healthy agency in contrast to my previous job and that ends up being a breath of fresh air. On my first project I'm the sole developer and it's a React and Redux stack so I end up having to learn Redux finally 
but it's by necessity. That first project ends up being really stressful because I want to prove myself and maintain this wonderful remote job. And I end up getting through it and getting a ton of really good experience in my three years at this company. I end up getting to learn a lot of other cool technology like full stack JavaScript development with GraphQL, style components, and other really cool stuff. I also learn other things that go into running an agency like the cone of uncertainty, Sandler selling, and the who hiring method. Job number three is great, but after three years, I have the experience and the confidence to go out on my own and finally capitalize on that seed that had been planted so many years before when I discovered Indie Hackers. And that's where I am today. Overall, I'm so happy I decided to become a software engineer. And I think if there's one lesson that you could take from my story, it's to not settle and to continue to seek out learning opportunities. That's always served me well, and I expect it will continue to be an asset. Thanks for watching to the end. Remember, stay hungry, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.